We are given a square on grid paper, and we're told each small square on the grid paper has a side length of one centimeter. We are first asked to determine the side length of the square, which we can determine using the grid paper. And we know each side of a square has the same length. Looking at this side here, the length is one, two, three, four, five, six centimeters. And therefore all of the sides have a length of six centimeters. Next, we were asked to determine the perimeter of the square. The perimeter of any polygon is the length around the outside of the polygon, and therefore the perimeter of the square is six centimeters plus six centimeters plus six centimeters plus six centimeters, which gives a perimeter of 24 centimeters. There is also a formula we can use to determine the perimeter of a square to label the length of each side s, the perimeter is equal to s plus s plus s plus s, which equals 4s, giving the perimeter formula for a square p equals 4s, where in our case the side length is 6 centimeters. Using the formula, the perimeter is equal to 4 times 6 centimeters, which equals 24 centimeters. Next, we're asked to determine the area of the square. The area of any polygon is the number of square units inside the polygon, or in our case, the number of square centimeters that will fit inside the square. And because of the grid paper, we can count the number of square centimeters inside the square. Because the dimensions are six centimeters by six centimeters, there are 36 square centimeters inside the square, which is the area of the square. There's also a formula to determine the area of a square. If we label the side length s, the area is equal to s times s, which equals s squared. Using the formula for the area of a square, where the side length is six centimeters, we have the area is equal to the square of six centimeters, which is equal to 36 square centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.